Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can find the state of any web element on the page. So finding the state of a web, web element, whether the element is enabled or disabled is very important and it will be required in your automation many of the time. Say for example, your application that you are testing has the login page and the login button gets enabled only after you enter the username and password. So these are real scenarios that you might come across and you might have to come up with the test cases to basically check whether the button is disabled initially then when you enter the username it's still disabled and then when you enter username and password both then it gets enabled so i'll open the test page here so this is the pega rpa robotic automation training page that i'm using for this particular demo so same scenario you can see here right the sign in button is disabled at the moment so if i right click and click on inspect you will see that here this particular highlighted area so this is the web element the the HTML code for that so here you will see the tag is input and disabled is true what this means is if you if there is an attribute disabled and it's set to true that means the web element is disabled okay so this web element is disabled and if we have to find this out what we'll do is we'll first identify this so we'll go to selectors hub and let's first copy the locator for this particular web element so I've copied the X path okay Okay. and then we'll go to the PyCharm. So in Selenium, there is a method available that will help you to figure out whether the web element is enabled or disabled. Okay, so let me copy all of it and create a new file and the Python file, I'll say demo web element state. So we are trying to learn web element state. Okay, so it already exists. Okay, so let me use the same thing. I'll remove everything here and paste this code here. Okay, so let me change it. I'll remove all of it. And then in this particular get what we are opening, we are opening this particular page. So we'll paste that. And now once we are on that page, we can find so we can say we can find element by x path, right? And we have already copied x path. So we'll paste it here within the quotes. Okay, so there are single quotes here. So you have to make sure that you use double quotes outside. Okay, and now in order to find the state of this particular web element, we have the method is enabled, right? So is enabled is the function which will return a Boolean value for this particular web element. So if the this particular web element is enabled, it will return true. If this particular web element is disabled, it will return false. So we can store this particular return value in a variable. So we can say demo and then maybe say state. Okay. And now if we'll want to see what exactly is the state of it, so we can print this demo state, right? And let's change this class name to demo element state and then this one to demo enable and disable. Okay. Just any name there which makes a bit logical sense. So now I'm creating an object of this particular class here, right? So to create an object demo element state followed by the parentheses, and then this is the variable, right? So we can say demo state, okay? And this demo state variable references, this demo state variable, let me remove it. So demo state variable references to the object, this particular class object. So we can say demo state dot demo enable disable, and then we can call this particular method, okay? So let me run this now and see what is the state of this particular web element. So it will launch that particular portal and you can see it has been really quick and it has printed false, okay? So that means that particular button sign in button or login button is disabled initially as we have seen in this particular case, okay? So now say for example, I enter certain values here and then certain values in the password. So you can see the button has been enabled now, right? So let me put something here and put something here. You can see the color has changed, okay? So now I can click on this particular button. Now let's go back to PyCharm and here, say for example, I now want to check or change this particular, so we'll go to that particular home page again, I'll go back. So now let me put some values here and as soon as I'll put and I'll check whether the sign in button got enabled or not. Okay, so let me inspect these values here and go to selectors. I'll copy the relative X path and we will say that 
driver dot find element by xpath provide the xpath and we'll enter some keys there right so we'll we'll enter some text there so we'll say dot send keys and you provide the value that you want to send there so i'll say testing and similarly for the password field okay so let's scan the password field as well so right click inspect and copy password field xpath and we'll use it here we'll replace the password field which is user pass the id is user pass and we'll provide the same testing say for example testing 345 whatever okay and then let's see the state of this particular web element what is the state after we provided the username and password right so it will again then print the state right so it will store it in the demo state one okay and run this so it will open the browser it will check the state of the, the button and then provided the username and password and in the second case you can see it has printed true right so let me put some weight there so we'll say time dot sleep and we'll put sleep of two seconds there after username and two seconds after the password so that we can see that it is actually typing in the values so opening the browser typed in username the password and you can see sign in button has changed the color right because it has been enabled now so initially it was disabled because there was no username and password and then when we provided username and password it got enabled and the state of the button has changed to true okay so that's how you can find the state of any web element on any web page in selenium web driver so is enabled is the method or function that you can use to basically get the state of the web element on any web page so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful go ahead and practice with the practice website and try to play around with different web elements it will help you to build your skills in a lot better way so thank you very much for watching